Hey, let me in. I'm a cute kitty. You can trust me. I'm not an anomaly or anything dangerous like that. So come on, let me in. Promising salvation to some, driving some away. I have other people taking shelter. Hello everyone, this is Charlotte. And today, we're gonna be playing No, I'm Not Human, which is a horror game where you have to, um, meet some visitors and figure out which ones are anomalies and which ones are normal humans. So, that's about all I really know, so let's get started. Oops. Let me check the mouse sensitivity a little. No, no way to fix it. Alright, we'll just deal with it. Can we open these doors? Oh, we can look out the people. People from the cities have already started coming to the neighbors. People have changed a lot. If they come to your place, you let them in. Just be careful, okay? I heard a lot of people being killed by other people. Oh no, that's very bad, man. No, I hear these stories more and more often. An acquaintance says that creatures that look like humans are coming. Uh-oh, that's bad. In a few days, they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come, and who knows what's next? What's going on out there? I think that's the question we should really ask. It's safe to look out the windows at night. And I even recommend it. That way you at least realize what surrounds your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Oh, no. Is it better not to leave the house now? Let's summarize. There's gonna be people coming in at night. You decide who to let in, who not. It's hard to decide visually. We'll be told later by the authorities what to do. Look in the windows. You don't know what's going on. And keep your head down. It's dangerous everywhere now. I sleep in your cabinet tonight, and tomorrow you can do it yourself. Wait, really? You're gonna sleep there? Come and see me in the afternoon, and we'll talk. It seems no one else will come tonight. I guess we're good for now. Nope. <laughs> Can we sprint? No, no we can't. Um, try to check out the windows a bit. Can't open the curtains. I guess we go to sleep. Yeah, that's it. Nice bedroom. Got a TV and everything. Alright, time to go to sleep. Good morning, dear viewers. It's the morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining and the summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record, and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification. Oh boy, we're all gonna die. But they assure us there's no need to worry. 
Oh, uh, you say that. So grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. Yep, plus it's totally safe outside. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. You watch graceful ballerinas gliding across the stage, performing beautiful pirouettes. Classical dance brings back warm childhood memories and makes you think of beautiful things. Like me. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, living room looks pretty normal. All right, let's check the, um... Cabinet, where he was promising this stay. Did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. So think hard about who you want to talk to. Oh, that's your energy meter up there in the corner. And one more thing, checking people for size of guests should be in the dialogue too. So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide you talk to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen, have a cold one from the fridge. It'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. And kind of like how booze works in the real world. So, I'm just supposed to sit around and survive, or... That's kind of weird, don't you think? Let me preface this with a word, just in case. Ah, okay. During the day, you can talk to your house guest about all sorts of things. And dialogue with them, you can check for signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else but still have the strength, drink a beer in the kitchen. There's one thing in the fridge I brought you. Chill. Um, it'll make you so sleepy. Oh wow, that's a strong beer. And wait for help. If they call an evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. Um, I guess so. By the way, I heard that at night, someone walks around asking if you're home alone. If you open the door, don't say that you're alone. Oh, we're totally gonna do that because I'm a Let's Player. Oh, I need to get some new headphones. Alright, let's see what's in the fridge. Oh, I'm feeling drowsy from the beer. The best I've ever felt. Alright, time to go to bed. Nighty night. Well, I guess this is when Ashley starts. Okay. Get ready. Uh, 
and let's see who's at the door. Is my dad here? Can you call him? Well, you seem normal. It was scary during the day, but now it is a lot of people went out at night. Tell me something about your dad. Um, I can tell you a lot. But before he goes out... He likes to have a little beer. <laughs> Interesting. He leaves with lunch, dinner, and juice. Oh, he's that kind of dad. Kid, I feel sorry for you. Today I tried the beer he drinks, ah, uh, and was awful. Why drink that when there's juice? Well, beer really is an acquired taste. Oh, please don't tell him. Good, you're getting here safely. You know, it's like everything is turned upside down. People now stay indoors or sleep during the day at night. They go out and do things. But you seem safe, though. I'm still not used to being afraid of the dark, but it seems like there's nothing to fear. It doesn't seem so bad out there right now, you're right. Okay, kid, I think I can trust you. Or is there? Thanks. Good luck to you two. We go now. I'm scared to be alone. Outside alone at night. Oops, I misread that a bit. We're going to play a game. He made some kind of game where you have to roll dice. And then walk on objects. I mean like a chair or a couch. And then you have to build a road. Anyways, I'll show you later. Goodbye. Huh? I was in the kitchen. I was hiding in the pub, but... I was kicked out. Why? Hmm. Not everyone can handle my temper. But... I don't mean to offend anyone. Don't get me wrong. It's just sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is. Yeah, we get it. You got anger issues. What do you think? Will you let me in? You seem normal enough. Are you sure there won't be any trouble with you? Murder and fights are against my soul, but I'll let no harm come to my cell. What I like is eating and drinking and talking in a good mood. Is that a problem? Ugh. Why did they kick you out of your last shelter? What do you think it will be different here? So, what, am I supposed to die under the sun now? No, homeowner, that's not for me. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep looking for someone to talk to and someone to talk about. If you don't let me in, I'll find somewhere else. If there's any luck left in this new world, and if not everyone is a jerk... Thanks. Trusting people nowadays is worth no more than a coin. I mean, you seem pretty normal. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe. Upon right. I can't promise anything. Ugh. Sorry for disturbing you so late. It's just too hot during the day. The TV says it's better not to go out in the sun. 
Uh... Is there any corner for me? What is with your face? Who are you? Uh, I used to live closer to the town. The asphalt heats up pretty intensely out there. <laughs> uh. I used to work as a cashier. Not anymore, though. I got fired. I just don't have any luck with work. Um, well, I feel you on that. What are you gonna do now? Um, I'll try to survive somehow. It scares me, of course, with these visitors around and the sun blazing just like hell. I really want to live. <laughs> oh, oh. Aren't you scared? Please tell me it's gonna be alright soon. Alright, come on in. Thank you, oh thank you, really. Oh god, I'll live one more day. Years seem really desperate, but otherwise normal. All right, let's go to bed. We interrupt our morning show for an urgent message. Today at 6.28 a.m., there was a powerful solar er energy eruption. The flare was larger than scientists predicted. The air temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Bunny, you just said it was safe yesterday. Now on to the news. Aliens? People emerging from underground? Is that foreshadowing for something? No, this isn't a sci-fi story or a tabloid headline. Eyewitnesses report contact with visitors around the city. Uh-oh. That's an oh-no situation. Our witnesses encountered a middle-aged man who had perfectly white teeth. It turns out, he was one of these visitors. Similar incidents with visitors sporting perfect teeth have been observed. So if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please take alert and calm. So we gotta look out for perfectly white teeth. Now, let's move on to other news. Eat outside? No problem. When you have Energica in hand. What's Energica? The refreshing energy drink quenches thirst even in the hottest heat. And you also won't be able to sleep at night. A unique blend of lime and mint gives extraordinary energy. Energica. Look for it in nearby stores and hopefully not get hurt by visitors while shopping. Dynamic energy drink advertisement. Subtly satisfying your thirst. I know it's satisfying my thirst. Pepsi. Yeah? Did you want something? How do you recognize a visitor? 
I know no more than you. Visitors could be identified by perfectly white teeth. This is fracking bullshite. They just want us to kill each other. And it's not clear why. Okay, no one else in the kitchen. Let's check the pantry. Oh, it's the boy from earlier. Uh, hopefully this will all be over soon. How do you... Uh... I want to check on you. Uh, are you going to make decisions based on teeth? Uh-oh. I haven't had my teeth... I've had my teeth fixed recently. Although, to be honest, I can't remember when I've been to the dentist. Have I even been to one? God, I can't even remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. Nah, you're good. This can't be. I can't be a visitor, yes? Um... I mean, they're perfectly white. Sorry, buddy. Wait, no, 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 no. Die. All right, check the cabinet for the kid. Check you too. You want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. Yellowish, huh? Well, don't. With your test, I'm not a visitor. We'll find out if that other guy's a visitor or not. But he seemed pretty scared when I was about to shoot him. Let me tell you right away, I'm not afraid of the heat. But I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find a place at... Can I find peace at your place? How long had you been looking for a peaceful place? There's never been any peace for me. Ooh, it probably came from a bad background. So, yeah, for a long time... Are you okay with the heat? I always feel cold. Okay, that explains the jacket. 
Well, there is some burning up outside. I've wrapped myself in jackets and still feel cold. You might be sick. I'm scared to take off my clothes. What if it only brings more suffering? And what if I can die from it? Thank you. The ceiling is a bit low here, but I'll be fine. What we got next? You look kind of strange. How fortunate we are. We witnessed firsthand the consequences of human passion. The earth will be cleansed. The sun will do its work. And we will go to a new clean world. That's the fracking good news. You're scaring me. Are you out of your mind? Listen to me, I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and burns for us a reason. It makes sense out of us. We've all done all sorts of things, and now the sun is angry. Give his hit to us. Buddy, you're concerning me. And that's a good thing. All of our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. Well, you can't live your life if you're dead. What's gonna happen to you then? Or, you mean we all have to die? Let's go with this one. What's it got to do with me? We're all going to live well right after the sun helps. The sun will just help us get rid of all the stuff, you know? You understood everything, that's why you're alive. I don't trust you. All right then, bye-bye. You seem normal. Too bad we are the witness. Maybe we are participants too. Okay, I take the normal part back. Who are you? Just a person. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. I came out of the shadows. I'll stay in the shadows. You're weird. It's even safer that way for me, but mostly still. It's easier to preserve something from floods, fire, and time. Not every seed becomes a tree, eh? Are you Canadian? Will you read my fortune? Choose where I should open the book and read a line. The dead will come and tell he will not be believed. What else does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. Well, that was interesting. Check the windows. Outside the window stands his neighbor and his daughter. They play happily together, forgetting the horror that is happening. Just for a moment. Watching this makes you remember your childhood and gives you a warm feeling of nostalgia. <laughs> Let's see who's out the other window. 
There are bodies of teenagers on the ground. Someone killed them. It seems to be recent because the blood hasn't dried yet. The picture gives you goosebumps and makes you feel a little uneasy. Oh, no. On the past stands a man as pale as death itself. There's strange folds in his skin. The skin seems to be too big for him. That is really creepy. You can't see his eyes from here, but you can feel him drilling you with his gla with his gaze. You feel fear and pray to God that the creepy visitor will avoid the house. Screenshot. All right. It seems no one else will come tonight. Let's get some rest. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal. And experts predict that it will continue to intensify. There are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with visitors. In response to this situation, authorities urgently re ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is an acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA staff members wear yellow hazmat suits. The FEMA Special Committee started functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator of visitors. The FEMA Special Committee experts believe that besides teeth, visitors could be identified by dirt under their nails. As reported by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of the houses. Employee encountered a woman who has worked as a nurse. For some unknown reason, she had dirt under her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing. Her dangerous status was confirmed. If you notice anyone resembling a visitor, promptly contact FEMA members or call the hotline if 0451 Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours Uh-oh Now, let's move on to other news Alright, let's check on our guests Buddy, you don't look so good Oh, it's that lady from earlier. I wish there was some warmth. Mutated humans have absorbed the anger thousands of years. They're, they are a reflection. Or antipodes who we would never want to see or know. But they are there, and now we have to put up with them somehow. Wait, what? Yeah, let's see. What's on them? It can't be the ground. I don't even remember digging in the dirt. This is the end of my life? 
buddy, you got perfectly white teeth and dirt on your fingernails. I'm sorry, but it's game over for you. What a shame. I wish there was some warmth. I'm going to check on you. Teeth. My teeth? If it helps in any way, sure, look. What do we do now? I got it now. Here, Al. Thank you for your trust. I hope I could be of service. There's something eating me up, but I can't open up to you yet, sorry. Hands. Uh, looks like I chipped them all or something. But take a look anyways. Sorry, lady. You know what? There's just too many signs that are matching up. That's no coincidence. Alright, time to have a beer and go to sleep, even though we just did something really horrible. But they were likely gonna kill us. I'm not letting you in. Who are you? Buddy, you're scaring me. How's it going here? Is everything okay? I love a little thumbnail. Why are you ignoring my question? Listen, eh? Are you alone in the house? Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune. Promising salvation to some, driving some away. I have other people taking shelter here. How come? It's hard to be alone. What's wrong with you? Come with me, young man. Get lost, you creepy weirdo. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms. But who knows what will happen tomorrow? Buddy, I don't care what you do. Get lost. There's a group of armed soldiers outside the window. Apparently, there are small units sent here from the city to provide security for the EC. You can only hear bits and pieces of phrases about a pale man with a bare torso. That's the guy we saw earlier. Uh-oh. Maybe they want to track down that creepy stranger. 
You feel relieved that there are people ready to deal with a dangerous guest on the streets. I mean, I guess that would make us feel a little safer since they got guns and everything. Alright, let's see who's at the door. Um, where did you come from? I don't remember anymore. I don't care about it. I'm very tired. If I don't get some rest, I'll just collapse from exhaustion. Why is there a body on your shoulder? Is your partner sick? That's my husband. He died. I can't bury him properly now. It's pointless to let him go. I mean, on one hand, I'm not really sure if I want a dead body in here. But... Alright, come in. I don't think I'll stay long. I just need a break. Alright, lady. Who's that? You see what's going on here? Frackin' hell! How's it going down here? What do you need? Just curious, that's all. Actually, I got a little scheme. You could easily make some money. Wait, what's that say on your shirt? Omogus? Oh, really? With the sun feeling so good, you could make money without even trying. Uh, I mean, if you say so. I know all the losers are scared of something, but you just need to hustle. Biatch. Why did you come to me? Well, I'm more like, what are you offering? I think that's the better choice. Survive. What else is there? We gotta make plans while we can. To hell with the sun. Keep moving, you know. Let's go, shall we? I'm all right. Uh -oh, oh, now we're talking. Finally, someone with some sense, Biatch. I can't say a bad word on YouTube, or you get demonetized. It's so quiet at night. Hi, can I come in? Have you been washing the house? Papa, no, of course not. It's rare for a household of people to be so quiet at night. Someone forgets themselves in alcohol and yells. Someone screams in pain and burns. Someone just screams with unbearable sorrow. Where did you come from? There was a hospital in the center of town. Yes, there was, but it became overwhelmed with patients and we couldn't cope. The scariest part is that many villagers infiltrated in such conditions. The situation spiraled so out of control that the entire hospital was shut down. It's pure chaos in there now. Um, I don't think so. I know it's not a good idea to trust dangers. If you're lucky, I'll be around when you need me, so feel free to reach out. Okay, I guess we'll check the windows and then go to bed. Oh, we already did this one. Bodies of teenagers burned to death on the ground. That's horrible. They seem to have been lying here all day. The emergency workers are standing next to the bodies and writing something down. It's good that there are those who can remove the bodies. 
Isn't that kind of unnerving, though? I'm scary to imagine what kind of contagion could occur if the rotting bodies are not removed from the streets. Well, I mean, diseases are something you do have to worry about. And rodents. I mean, like... You know, rodents that carry actual diseases, not like the ones you keep as pets. There's a small group of FEMA staff standing outside a neighbor's house. I wonder what they are talking about. Maybe they're taking soil samples? For like radiation and stuff? Or they're looking for a place to set up base. I mean, that could be it. It makes you feel a little better to think that someone is trying to make sense of this nightmare. Guess we'll go to bed. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. The family and FEMA staff members have organized quarantine zones. Anyone showing signs of visitors is directed there. Some people express concern that the identity of visitors remains unknown. However, FEMA assures that they're merely ill individuals in need of assistance. Well, that's not very reassuring. Additionally, FEMA has identified a new indicator of the viewers. I mean, visitors. Intensely irritated blood red eyes. This information was discovered through experiments with detained guests. According to FEMA experts, the irritation is caused by exposure to bright sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during the daylight hours. Now, let's move on to other news. Every no every day gets more surreal. What if I didn't sleep well or if I cried? I can't make sense of how this works anymore. What do you do if sun sign checks out? Or several? I mean, if it's like three out of four, we probably need to, you know, pull the old yeller on them. Nah, you look normal. Okay, um... <laughs> What's up, Biatch? I don't know why I let you stay here. What's causing the cataclysm? I know fracking nothing. I thought you knew. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't give a frack. What difference does it make if you can make money off of it? What do you want to check? Teeth. I could show you some teeth, Biatch. My brother-in-law got his teeth done. He got smashed. Guess what? Lost all his... Rack and tea. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. Uh huh. Good, huh? Wait, let's see for a minute. I get it, of course. All this stress with the visitors and stuff. But you're doing it all for us. Anyways, I hold no grudges. Won't tell you any. Bullshit. On um, hands. Nah, hands are clean. Check your eyes. 
Do you think it's from the sun or what? Fuck. It's just some kind of disease. Buddy, that's two out of three. Sorry. Bitch, you suck my... Nah, you... Damn, son. No taboo, my friend. Wash my nails as long as you like. Train myself to get useful sunlight with them. and open beer caps. You know, I kind of like you. I could go for a cold one myself. Did you, uh, just want to check it out? Yeah, that's all. I need to get some rest. So, I did watch somebody else play this, and her teeth are white, but we're gonna check to see if her eyes are normal. I mean, you got white teeth and red eyes. Sorry, lady. No more pain. <sighs> oh boy, who's here now? Staff. I'm from the FEMA crew. We're here to help you. You came alone? No, of course not. Our crew is going door to door in the neighborhood. We're splitting up to get the job done faster. I won't be staying long. How will you help us? First, we have to do some investigation. Based on the results, I will be able to take further action by notifying the management. You just need to wait a little. Do you have an action plan? Of course not. O of course, it's not likely we can act spontaneously. We'll take any one person with us for examination. Since you may have been exposed to solar radiation, we'll check the health of one. Based on that, we'll decide if you all need help. It can be anyone. Do I have to pack too? No. You are, as I understand it, the owner of the house. You stay here for now. We'll take the man away for a while, then decide what to do next. We'll issue instructions afterwards. I'm now taking the man with us. We're leaving. Goodbye. You'll bring him back, right? What a mess, did you see that? What kind of society is this? The beasts around here are revealed. Finally, nobody's pretending. What do you mean? Haven't you been to the other houses? Outside on the street? All those social norms and other crap don't work anymore. Might make... Right now. If you can outfight the others, you've won an established order. Buddy, I do not sense good vibes from you. How many houses have you switched? How did you survive all this time? 
You're not too much. You'll soon grow old. I don't ask you how you live. You don't ask me how I live. The main thing is that I won't be a problem for you. I don't know. You better leave. Let me in. Did something happen? Wait, where's your dad? Okay, calm down, kid. Uh, my daddy... Uh, they killed my dad. Who did this? Drink some water. We had visitors. They sat in our room. Danny was talking to them about something, and then they killed him. Ah! Our house is now on fire. Uh-oh. Alright, come in. Can you help me? I'm scared. Don't worry, kid. We got you. I'm not from around here. I don't like staying in one place too long. Can't roam around as much anymore. I'm getting too old for that. You do look old. Why do you travel? Yeah, those very ones. Have you seen what the visitors are up to? Every house. Someone's killed. Someone else is torn apart. They pretend to be one of us. Then man, all hell breaks loose. We need to wipe out those visitors. Um, do you want to kill the visitors? Where's your weapon against the visitors? I had a gun. I almost got myself killed. They waited till I was just asleep in my tent and just stole my gun. I was running. They were shooting. That's the kind of fun they have. There's nothing human but a shell. And good. Maybe you're a visitor yourself. You could have. Ooh. Oh, no. You'll know. I get these visitors to run for their money. You'll be amazed. Anybody home? Who are you? I used to live a couple of blocks away. We were evacuated from our home by those in yellow suits, but they didn't take us anywhere. They didn't provide us a place to live. Where should we go? What should we do? Wanderman's figuring out where to go. I'm here trying to save myself. Why did they kick you out? They said there was a big sunstroke or something on our house. Those in yellow suits kicked us out. Somebody was grabbed, taken for tests. Some are released. Lady, I don't know about you. Well, don't open the door to those yellow ones anyway. Well, you generally don't open the door anymore. Ha 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 ha. I'll bring my people over here and help you save yourself. I think I made the right call with you. Alright, let's go to bed. But before that, let's check the windows. The entire squad of soldiers who were here yesterday are dead. Uh-oh, I think we're in trouble. This is a bit of a oh-no situation. The bodies were strewn all over the street, and one of the bodies is missing a head. Ugh. That pale, creepy stranger killed them all? That guy's more dangerous than I thought. You were fight by this picture of carnage, and you feel in danger. <laughs> A pale, creepy man stands in the road and smiles. Oh, no. There's someone's severed head in his hands wearing a helmet. So he did that just recently. 
It's a soldier's head with a grimace of horror frozen on his face. You are very uncomfortable with what you see. Did he do this too? The neighbor's house, which was recently painted white, burned to the ground and is now completely black. The fire seems to have died down recently. Did someone set it on fire on purpose? Was it the creepy pale dude? What happened to the neighbor's family? Did anyone survive? Well, the kid did, because he's here right now. Why did they burn the house down? Was it because we helped his dad earlier? Your head is filled with anxious thoughts and a feeling of incomprehension and helplessness. Buddy, I can't say I blame you. Alright, let's get some sleep. Try not to think too much about this. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. FEMA continues to identify new signs of visitors. According to their data, attempts to photograph visitors result in severe blurring in the photos. The effect can only be observed with film cameras. Oh, so we need to whip out the Polaroid. Unfortunately, the reason for this phenomenon has not yet been determined yet. However, FEMA urges citizens to use this new information to identify visitors. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Let's move on to other news. Um, so let's take a look. What do you need to check? Hold up. All these sign checks, guys in yellow jumpsuits. Oh, this somehow is so effed up. Don't you get the feeling that we're heading towards some kind of terrifying hell? Everything is already controlled, yet chaos is unfolding. Well, take a picture, come on. You're taking up the picture of the person you're talking to. He's definitely... he's sitting quietly. He doesn't fit in the frame, but you don't see anything unusual. I'm just scared of what will happen next. Honestly, I don't blame you, given the setting of this game. I want my mama. I don't think a kid is going to know much about these subjects, but we can try. My teeth are still baby teeth. Daddy said I won't cry anymore. This is what I have. What does that mean? It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, you're good on that end. Let's take a look at your hands. Good. Eyes. Normal. Uh, we'll get you something to drink in a minute, okay? I just need to make sure everything's good. I really don't want to have to hurt this kid. Them. I'm not really into photography uh, photography. Will you show me a photo later? You're taking a picture of the girl. The photo came out a little blurry. The girl ran up to you without waiting for the end of the photo shoot. Uh, thank you. I don't like it. Don't ask her to take any more pictures. All right, you check out.
I guess we could ask her what she knows about some things to get a little bit more lore. I don't know who that is. Uh, poor kid. This wouldn't have happened if it weren't for those evil people. Uh huh. You mean those effers in yellow? They are inhuman beasts with no will of their own. They hide in yellow cocoons with masks and think they're in charge. No, he's got a bone to pick with the system. They'll take everyone who slightly falls under their signs of a visitor. In short, I would not drink from the same cup with them. What is the point of this question? Do you want me to comfort you? Nah, take a sober look at the situation. If not the end, then fracking disaster is definitely very close. Is there any anything we can do? I think we should have done something earlier. Now it's Earl over. Oh no. It's very bad, man. Alright, kid. Let's see what your last line of dialogue is. Uh, well, I shouldn't have said that. Alright, let's get some sleep. Alright, let's see who's at the door. We're with the FEMA team. We need to do a survey of your neighborhood. The man you took isn't enough? Last one? Oh, that... The examination procedure is quite exhausting. Right now, your man is in rehabilitation. After he rests, we'll bring him back right away. Yes, I'm afraid one person was not enough to understand the situation. We'll need one more person from your house. Anyone will do. Thank you for your cooperation. Alright, if there's no other way. Yeah, there's no other way. It's all for your own safety. Oh boy, this is getting bad. What do you think of that one in suits? He's doing his job. Alright. These are the times, aren't they? You got to be careful, is that okay? I'm kind of busy, so can you come back later? Just... Say, are you alone in the house? Getting ready. Do you know what you're getting ready for? It's the last days, didn't they tell you? Does the dogs rule the world, and only dogs will be here. Have a good stay. Yeah, get lost. But what comes next is this terrible secret. How have you survived all this time? That's not the problem you should be worrying about, but thanks. Ah, uh, hold on. And I don't yet feel that this glaciers are going to melt anytime soon. Let's look around for birds raining from the sky. Do you think things will get worse? Is there any point in thinking? I don't think we should bother our heads with it now. Whether you keep talking or hide, people, it's all the same. I have no thoughts on what to do. What should we do now? I don't know. I'll just keep watching. That's all I can do. What will you do? Good question. Alright, 
right, let's check the windows. There's a dead man, um, making himself taller from a lamppost with a sign around his neck. It says visitors are not welcome. Looks like the poor guy was mistaken for a guest and killed in an... A fnogged crime. Yeah, a horribly crime. The thought of violence engulfing a once peaceful and quiet town breaks your heart and makes you long for quieter time. Oh boy, this is bad. Ugh. You see a stake with a helmeted skull on it. This black burnt skin left on the skull, and the teeth looks like someone pulled them out. And fitfully after he died. The head has been here all day. The whole grim display looks like a threat, surely left by that creepy pale visitor. You're looking at your neighbor's house. Only a ghostly silhouette remains. You're devastated by what you've seen. It seems to disturb you even more to realize that it's not the evil guests who are to blame, but people with paranoia. It brings you anxiety. This whole game brings me anxiety. It's no longer safer to live on the surface of the Earth. You boarded up all the windows and barricaded the doors. After conferring with your tenants, you decide you don't need to go out to the outside world anymore. You pray helplessly that this will all be over. If this nightmare ever ends. At the very least, you have peace of mind knowing that there are only humans under your roof. Oh, so this is the good ending. Okay, we're gonna try this again, but just see what happens if we just let everyone in. But, yeah. I really enjoyed this so far. And if you guys want to see me play the full game when it comes out, I'll likely stream it. Just kind of let me know in the comment section below, okay? Alright, All right, so this is a really interesting CG. And I just kind of wanted to show this a bit. But we're on the route to getting the other ending, I think. Uh, how's it hanging? They rule, and what's the question? I think the FEMA guys are doing the right thing. Taking out the mother frackers that deserve to die. The other day I saw through the window they took my neighbor. They did the right thing, I reckon. That... Um, Fracker borrowed a lot of money from me and never paid it back. Whack, I wish I could join FEMA. Yeah, you're definitely not a visitor. But I think we got a few in the house. You've done a lot for those who let in. But too much blood has been spilled. Oh, okay, I get it now. So, in order to get this ending... We have to allow two or more visitors to stay. Okay, it makes sense. You are too dangerous to stay in this house. You must leave. You are being driven out of your own home by people fearing for their safety. You didn't live one day and burned by the scorching sun outside. Well, that's very unfortunate, isn't it, Nya? Alright, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I had a lot of fun making this. So, like I said, I'll be streaming the full version when it comes out. And 
and I'll list my stream times in the subtitles, but I'll also say it out loud. It's every Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to see me play the full version of the game, let me know in the comments section below. And with that said, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!